Hi, let's have a look at what we're gonna creating. using Photoshop CC in this tutorial. Here I have two images, a man and a background. Let's put this background layer below. I will select man's layer, then click on this circle and a rectangle icon. It will create mask on the image. While the mask is selected, I will click on this quick selection tool. Then I will make a selection like this. Basically, I want to cut out the man from the background, so that's why I am making a selection around him. It is recommended that you choose a picture which can be easily cut from the background, as you can see the man's hair are complex, and I am sure they will give me a hard time in cutting. Ok, now that I have selection completed, I will click on this rectangle selection tool. Then right click, here choose select inverse. It will invert the selection. Ok, quickly click on the brush tool, choose any of your favorite brush. Make sure your selected colors are black. Brush doesn't matter at all by the way. Now simply start painting with brush. Your background will be erased. But you can still see that hair part. Let's ignore this background removing part. I have already cut the man from background. So I will remove this layer and enable the layer I cut before recording the tutorial. Also, you don't have to follow the same method I demonstrated to remove the background. There are 100 ways to remove background, and I am sure you know many of them. Let's quickly apply some color adjustments to blend the man with the background. I will apply a cooling photo filter, color lookup plots, and curve adjustments to blend it with the background. Also, keep that in mind, these adjustments don't work for every photo because every photo has different lighting, so tweak these settings according to your picture. After I finish the color matching, I will create a new layer on top of all the layers. Now select brush tool and pick your favorite brush. Decrease the size. Now concentrate at what I do, I will make lines of the clothes. As the idea is to remove the original clothes of the man and create invisible glowing clothes, I will only make lines of clothes, not hands, face or neck. Ok. I don't want to bore you with my slow and shaky hand, so I'm speeding up this drawing part as I believe you get the idea. You don't need a pen tablet to make this, you can do this with your mouse. You can see half side of shirt drawing. I will continue drawing. I will do the same on the other side. Do you try this with your own pictures or of your friends pictures, it is fun to do, and you'll learn a lot through the process. At the end it will look super cool, if you follow the method properly with concentration. You can notice I left the neck part, and both hands as well. As we just want clothes to be invisible and glowing, but if you want invisible body or hands, you can do that, there's no limit. Do what looks good to your eyes and matches your taste. Alright, this is what we ended up with. Let's duplicate the man layer, turn off the first one. While this layer is selected I will create a mask on this layer like this. Now you just have to erase the original clothes. I will do it by selecting the pen tool, I will make a selection like this. Ok let's do it all over the area we want to remove. You don't need to go complex like me. I was feeling special at the time when I was using pen tool. Or you can say I was bored, and wanted to keep me busy for a long time. Alright, let's finally finish this selection. Right click and choose make selection. My mask is selected, and I have both black colors enabled. I will simply select the brush tool and paint over it. Cool. It's going really smooth, that's why I spent 5 minutes on the selection. 
go back to the lines layer. Let me quickly add some more details. After that duplicate the lines layer. Rename it as, Glow. Now double click the layer, it will open this window, here click on color overlay, and choose any color. Click OK. Right click the layer, and choose rasterize layer style. Go to the filter panel, here click on Gaussian blur. Apply a little amount of the blur, it depends on your liking. Now make 2 to 3 duplicates of the glow layer. Select just all the glow layers, not the line layer, and merge them. Make a duplicate of layers you merged. Select color dodge from the blend modes. Go to the filter panel again. Again apply Gaussian blur. Click OK. You can duplicate the color dodge layer if you want. Then select the layers and group them together. Then create hue saturation layer. Click this button, now move the slider and see the magic. Create new layer. Now with the pen tool I will create random shapes. Make selection and fill with white color. I hope you get the idea. Let's quickly make another. Make selection and fill white color. Ok, now I am speeding up the video, until we get to the next part. I am making random shapes. When we finish with the shapes, we will add glow to these shapes in the same manner like we did with the clothes. Don't hesitate to ask any questions if you are a beginner. You can ask me in the comments, or on my social media. Ok, we're done with the shapes. Let's duplicate the shapes layer. Double click and do the same color overlay thing. Rasterize the layer style, go to the filter and apply Gaussian blur. Click OK. Then set blend mode to lighten, duplicate the layer if you want increase in the intensity of glow, merge both of them then set blend mode to color dodge, let's change the clothes hue from the sliders we created before, and you are done. I hope you enjoyed, if yes then subscribe to this channel, it gives me a push to come up with more unique content for you guys. If you have any questions you can always reach me on my Instagram, and if you wanna hire me for a project then message me on my social media, I create cool lyric videos and short animations. That's all for today, goodbye.